find two positive numbers such that their product is 225 and their sum is a minimum. So we need to uh, denote two positive numbers. So I'm going to say let, I'll say let A and B be our two positive numbers. And in this case, we're trying to find a minimum sum. So this is an optimization problem. An op optimization problem is something where you're trying to find a minimum or a maximum. And in this case, uh, we want to find a minimum. And we should always try and write an expression for the thing that we're trying to maximize or minimize. So in this case, we're trying to minimize the sum. I'll call the sum s. And so the sum, that's just going to be a plus b. Now when you're doing an optimization problem, it's a good idea to write the thing that you want to maximize or minimize in terms of just one variable. Well, right now I have an a and a b, but I also know that their product is 225. That means that a times b is 225. Or I can rewrite this as b equals 225 divided by a. So now I can write the sum as a plus 225 divided by a. And now I have an expression for the thing that I want to minimize in terms of just one variable, a. And so and when I'm at this point, now I can take a derivative. Because remember, when you're doing an optimization problem, what we want to do is take a derivative of the thing that we want to maximize or minimize, and then set that thing, uh, that derivative, equal to 0. Because that's where maxima and minima are located. So in this case, I'm going to take the derivative of s with respect to a. And that's going to give me a derivative of a is 1. This is the same thing as 225 times a to the negative 1. So when I take the derivative, it's going to become minus 225 over a squared. And I'm going to set the derivative equal to 0. So if I do that, then I can say that 225 divided by a squared must equal 1. And that's the same thing as saying that a squared must equal 225. And now I can square root both sides. And I see that a could be plus 15 or a could be minus 15, negative 15. But up here I said a and b are going to be positive numbers. So I'm going to let a be the positive 15. And if a is 15, b, remember, was 225 divided by a, so b is 225 divided by 15, which is also 15. So my two numbers are a equals 15 and b equals 15. Their sum, in this case, would be 30. We can look at this graphically. This is the function of uh, s of a, s as a function of a. So this is what the uh, graph is showing. This is the s-axis, and this would be the a-axis. And you can see that the minimum of this function does appear to be at 15, right about here. And you can see, if you look down here, there's 15. And the minimum sum is indeed at 30. And so when we're doing an optimization problem, the procedure is Find the thing that you want to maximize or minimize. In this case, it was the sum. And then write an expression for it in terms of just one variable. Then take the derivative, set it equal to 0, and solve for that value of the variable. And then usually you'll have to plug back in to find any other variables that uh, the problem asks you to find.